We should be clearing out Castle Darkmoor in this video. Barring more problems. We will do it by taking off a band-aid. As they say, you take off a band-aid quickly and while hoping that you don't encounter any more eyes. And that is exactly how we will be clearing out Castle Darkmoor. So that is at least my plan to do it. Whether or not it actually happens that way, this is kind of like a dead- oh no it wasn't a dead end, alright. So is this room full of... Uh... Oh no, I don't like the look of this. Okay, so when I step on that, liches appear. Here's the question. Do they... Okay. Okay, so they just keep appearing the more you step on it. Try these other ones. What about this one? Okay, over there. And this one. It's right here. Alright. So I guess I could do that if I wanted to take out a bunch of liches. Make this needlessly difficult. Some more I can deal with others. But I don't consider infinite respawns part of clearing out a dungeon. Oh no. no. Okay. I don't consider infinite respawns part of clearing something out. never actually finish them, per se. When I consider something that I'm clearing out, it needs to be finishable. So I can not worry about those infinite respawns and still have finished the dungeon, cleared it all out completely, by my definition. There's a uh, oh. oh. physical wall. That's cute. Um, well, I'm not going to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 wait a minute. This is really cute. Let's. That's good. That's, that's good. Can I. Can I. Okay, no, I can't. I can do this. Alright, I think that's about all that I can do from here. Um, nothing to do in this room. That's all doing in the corner. Can I? Oh, I'm so pleased with that. This is very analogous to band-aid removal, I must say. Okay, I'm still hitting them. As long as I'm still hitting him, then... This is... this is my tactic. And in fact... Let's, uh... Set a beacon... Uh, here. 
Let's not... How much does Town Portal cost? 20? Yeah. No. This costs 10. Let's make sure to leave him with at least 20 so we can go back. Am I not hitting them anymore? I should have been doing it this way from the beginning. Oh, they're running away the other way now. Alright, well. Not much I can do about that. Let's make sure not to step on those squares. Come over here. Try to move them back down here. All oh, these these ones came back. All right, if we can lure these ones down here, then that will save us from having to do what we did in the last video. Hopefully, less extreme. I mean, I, the liches don't fly away, so they shouldn't be uh, whatever. Well, I think I could probably hit them with inferno now, actually. Yeah. Liches don't fly away, so they would be a lot easier to kill. And, um... I believe they have significantly less health. Maybe not tremendously less, but enough to make a difference. So, killing the, the room full of liches wouldn't be as bad as... clearing the room out with the, uh, with the eyes. But still, I don't want to have to keep doing this. Can we assist you? Alright, we call you right there. Haste is fine. Now what sort of... How would I go about getting into that room? Do I have to... Hmm. I might have to just fall from up there. I don't know, we'll see if there's another path, I guess. Alright, so this is the... South side. Down here. Let's go check out the north side. Also notice that, that uh, it should be pretty obvious, but that room is separate from this room. So the room I checked out before was that one. And I'm not exactly sure what's in this room, but I'm guessing it's similar in nature to the other one. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to get in there, other than through using the jump spell. Maybe they expected you to do that. I hear more ogres. Probably ogres right in here. Or here. One of the worst things about the enemies that spawn in through the traps is that there's 
I mean, not only do they get you... Well... It, it's not just that... They kinda... Catch you off guard. Is that there's not really a way to see them coming. Unless you're already aware of where the trap is. Since they, uh... Since they don't exist... Oh, wait, this just leads back around to, uh... Oh, I missed a path? Oh. But, uh, since they don't actually exist until you trigger the trap, that means that they won't, uh, make your lights yellow, they won't make a sound. So no way you can know that... <coughs> know they're there. Although I guess it wouldn't be an effective trap if you could know they were there. Still. I guess I wasn't really... Adding any unknown bit of information. How'd you get out here? Alright. Um. Oh, no. I don't know. When did I get these? Very nice. I don't know. One more up for the big guy. All right. I think that's uh, enough to warrant to save. Now I'm gonna run out there. There's probably gonna be a lot of enemies. I just want to see what I'm up against. Oh, there's not that many enemies actually. Are more gonna spawn if I like run around? I have to fight like this. What? Oh. This? Oh hell no. Nope. Nope. Alright. I don't think that can hit him. Yeah, he's out of range. Definitely out of range. Alright, uh, uh, I don't know how well I'll be able to do this, but I'm going to try to get this one in the corner without triggering too many of them. Oh. Hang on. Let's place a beacon right here. Wake up, Nebula. Let's quick save again. And... Let's put these back on. And... Oh, really, that's good enough. Okay, take that off. Alright, um... Let's go for this corner over here. How'd you get out of here? Yeah, well, I don't have time for that. Alright. So it's quite unfortunate that there are still eyes left. Can we assist you? Alright. Almost feels useless casting these buffs at this point. I mean, they're, they're just going to take off so quickly. But... I would regret it if I didn't. So, Can we that means speak? you have to sit through it each time. Be because I'm not editing this part out of these videos. No. No, I'm not doing 
Alright. Oh, I just placed a beacon, didn't I? Oops. Well, whatever. This is fine. No, 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 hang on, let's, let's not do that. Can we assist you? I'll be with you. Wait, where is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is closer. It is definitely closer. And I'm green. Feels good. And yellow. Alright. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Alright. Um. I think I'm gonna try to take out the liches first. Oh well, let's get this eyeball. It's not there. But it's a weak one. Right. Yeah, taking out these liches is a good idea. They die a lot faster than they kill you. Which is why it's a good, worthwhile time investment. Oh. Was that a trap or did I just get like three of them firing at Oh no, it's definitely a trap. Oh, I think it's when you walk by the pillars. It's when I had Wizard Eye on, I noticed something on the pillars with light blue. Why is that spell so inaccurate? <laughs> I guess maybe it's inaccurate in turn-based mode just to simulate how hard it would be to actually hit something with that outside of turn-based mode. Let me see if I can kill a few more enemies. Okay, I see how I'm triggering the traps. Just have to be careful walking between the pillars, it looks like. Did I get all the liches? I guess I did. Alright, this one should be quite vulnerable to incinerate. There we go. Uh, why not? She doesn't have power cure, does she? No. Oh. Alright. Um. He's an expert in all the it's self fixed. magics, but a master in none of them. It's fixed. I don't know. Ah. I don't need that. Okay. 
See, this would just be... Unbearable without turn-based mode. Oh, some of them went out there. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go ask them what they're up to. Liches. Where? Is he, like, up there? Or did he, like... Ah, whatever. Did he get under the ground somehow? Okay. Are they trapped this way, too? Yes, they are. Alright. That just means I'm gonna have to be careful and jump each time I go between them. Alright, let's see what each of the four sides of this do. This is the one that teleports me. Yeah, so I'm not doing that one. Code. This one... spawns... A sword that I don't want. This one teleports me... Ah, that's what that room did. Alright, I remember now. This... also teleports me there, I guess. Okay, so so they're the same as the ones that they're across from. Does that mean the one on top? No, there is not one. There's not one on top. All right. Well, I don't want that sword. So let's check if he went up here. That's a pretty good reward if you don't already have that. Or know where to get it, I guess. Okay, so we have Day of the Go or no, we have Hour of Power. I need to cast Day of the Go. Can we assist you? I'll be with you. Day of protection. Can we assist you? I'll be with you. Call uh there. Okay, so I'm not messing with that cube then. So where did this go? Nowhere significant. What about this one? It looks like there's something up here. Just to make sure no enemies. Um. Wait, so what's that then? Did I forget to go somewhere? Okay, so how come that broadsword is still there? But when I was in the, uh... The, the place with all the veterans? That thing that I left in the dungeon didn't stay. Armor, I think it was. Because that made me think that the things despawn when you leave them there. This is solid white. Is there... Oh. Oh, okay. Um, now you do think that things despawn when you leave them there and then leave the area. And 
this is interesting. Red herring is so. Uh, but uh, yeah, now that the broadsword is still there, is making me think. Uh, what's this? What does this say? Crimson Embers are leap away. Okay, I was I was watching. My lights didn't change to yellow. That's a good sign. Okay, so I'm guessing. I feel like this happened before in my previous playthroughs, but, uh, but I really don't remember, so it's probably just deja vu. I'm guessing that that made this cube in here light up to red, which in turn means I can press it and it will open up the invisible wall and let me get in there without having to drop down. Way has been cleared. Uh, no. And then does that mean this one is still a sword spawning? The way has been cleared. Oh, okay, so it just. The way has been cleared, and then after you clear the way, it just does what it normally does. Alright. So then I want to go uh, back here. I'll check if the invisible wall is still there. Because if my hypothesis is correct, it will be gone. Yes. Why are they not... Why are they not attacking me? What? That means I'm safe when I'm right here for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I'll use that to my advantage. Alright. Okay, can I shoot them? I can definitely shoot them. Oh, you know what? I don't even- I can just shoot them with arrows then. And I have to press the caps lock again. Oh, no, that one- I guess if they get too close, they notice you. Lich King. Ah. Well, I'm going to turn this mode for that one. Um. Oh, I never got turned undead. Did I? Destroy undead. Whoa! 246 points of damage! Nice! Now oh, he's immune to poison, I guess. Two of one. I'm very, very satisfied with how that turned out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now the question is... Question is, does destroy undead work on the eyes? They don't seem like they would be considered undead, but I could be wrong about that. Can I hit them with Inferno? I can. Terrible eyes, there is one maddening eye over there. 
some witches, a flying eye. Alright, so. Are, okay, they're not out of range. So let's find out if this works. No. Alright, well. It was worth a try. It appears that there's some sort of room in there that a bunch of enemies, enemies have congregated in. That could pose a bit of an issue, but probably not too much. Very nice. Actually, hang on. 22 armor, 12, 12 armor, 11 fire resistance. Um, I guess I could give this to him. Makes me kind of sad that he's the only one without a gold helmet now, but... Who just shot at me? Red ones that can take off your spells. Let's get this one so he doesn't put us to sleep. Alright, and then you take us back. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're almost done here. Can we assist you? Be with Possibly only one more instance that I'm going to be with you. I really love how much consistency that spell has. Unless I've just gotten really good luck. Eight. Whatever. Alright, we can shoot down with some of Lich's health. He might hit us once or twice. Except he didn't. Alright, cool. That worked out well. bodies to pick up. Looks like there aren't any enemies left, and I am hopefully anticipating perhaps too optimistically that my life will turn green once like there are other enemies. We'll find out if that's optimistic or realistic. Well, whether or not it's optimistic or realistic right now is going to be determined by whether or not it's true, but... Whatever. 
We'll see. Green. Okay. Hopefully that means I've cleared out all the enemies in the dungeon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That doesn't that doesn't say how many charges it has. Does that mean it has infinite charges? Very nice. Didn't know that was possible. Of course maybe that's not true, but uh, I'll save. Uh, put it on her. It's fixed. That's beyond my skill. Fixed. No. No, no. I don't know. Aha. Um, let's do this real quick. Save again. Alright. Um, what? Oh, it has zero uses. That's Did they really program the game such that it's possible to generate a wand with zero uses? That's... That's quite an oversight. I can't... I can't enchant this, can I? No. There's nothing I can do. It's fixed. That's being sold, then. Pretty good. Well, I think everything else I have right now more than makes up for not using it. So I'll probably just sell it. Not any of these. Nope, not in any of those. Let's check what's in these. Take it. There's my memory crystal. Watching very carefully to make sure my lights are going to turn yellow. Fires of the dead shall burn forever. Okay, I remember this. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let's not do that yet. Where did, what does this do? Okay, whatever. This one. Um, do they all do that? Alright, well, I'm still gonna test all of them. But it, it seems like. Oh, no, that one's different. What is this? Fires of the dead shall burn forever. Alright, now. There's a sarcophagus here. Steal from the dead. So. Hang on. We have a saintly reputation right now. If we steal from the dead, we get. Very nice. A belt, which is pretty good. That didn't lower my reputation? Very nice. Does it only lower your reputation after you leave? Because I was pretty sure that lowers your reputation. Very nice. I'm not going to save over my save file just yet, just to make sure. Very nice. That's really good. Angelic. Oh, so it lowered it slightly. Alright, the Book of Liches is now destroyed. Got it. Aha! Ah. Ah. Can you want the rocks? 
this. Oh, is that two-handed only? Okay, yeah, no, it's not worth it. It's nice, but not not if I have to. Do that. It's two. Now we can just recall our Legion of Meyer of the Damned. I'm not gonna save over my save yet. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Where's the dude who gave the quest? Thought he was up here somewhere. Hello. Maybe he wasn't. Over here. How are you? Um, Hello. There you go. Incredible! I didn't expect you'd be able to do it. Now that the Book of Witches is gone, the Necromancer's Guild here at Enroth will slowly fade away. This is all thanks to you. Here, take this as a reward and accept my gratitude as well. Still angelic. Now, let's town portal to Freehaven. Alright, now, as for which path I'm going to take to put the crystal in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it turns itself off each time. Um, it's one of the blue ones. I know I took the red one for Alamos and the brown one for Creekspire, I think. Which of the blue ones did I take? And I guess this is the way to go. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Alright. Because there had been an item each time I had uh, gone in and placed it. Oh, alright. Well, three for four isn't bad. It's it's kind of sad that the, the one I, I ended up messing up on was... Uh, was the one when there was only one left that it could possibly be. That was just a left in my memory. I guess. Another goes on to that experience. So now, we can go down here. We should have all our uh, not yet. Talk to him. I've been expecting you. Control Center. I am Melian, Guardian of Enroth. Thank you for replacing my memory modules. Archibald took them from here when I refused to give him any help in his battle for succession. Your timing is impeccable. The Cregan have invaded our world, and you must try and stop them. Unfortunately, Archibald's attempts at extracting information from me have damaged me enough that I cannot help you directly now. Instead, I can only give you advice. While most of the Cregan can be slain with ordinary weapons and spells, the elite guards and upper echelon breeders have tougher skin and natural defenses that protect them from anything but very powerful weapons. In the planetary control center beneath me are the weapons and armor you will need to survive the battle with the enemy. My orders, however, will only permit passage to someone with a control cube. My instruments tell me that the only control cube left in Enroth can be found in somewhere underground in Dragon Sand. What does he have to say if we click it again? Same thing. I've been expecting you. Alright, so... Alright, looking good. So, our next task is to go to the Tomb of Varn. Which, as I mentioned before, is the biggest dungeon in the game. It's massive. Trainer closed. Okay, we're still angelic, not saintly, but we don't need saintly reputation anymore, so whatever. Closed. Okay, close it at six. So, um, a 
do want to gain some more levels. This stuff after the video. Plus 12, might plus 18. This is getting put on somebody for sure. Let's so give this to him. Since he can use the mice since he drains hell. And has a chance of doing triple damage with his daggers. That's not too important. Rather have that. This don't really need on anybody. Until left plus seventeen. And go without that as well. Left plus thirteen. I can go without that. Accuracy plus sixteen. Rings are gonna give me a headache, but I'll figure out which ones to keep and which ones to sell. So I want to clear out the uh, Dragon Riders area before I go into the Tomb of Lawn. I don't have a particularly good reason for wanting that. Um, Let's see. Let's put these back on. I guess I could wait on Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on the Dragon Riders actually. Alright. So the Tomb of Varn is in Dragon Sand, which where I get by taking this. I'm not going to be fighting all the dragons. I was considering using Armageddon just to deal damage to all of them. But if they have well over a thousand health, it's not going to help that much. Hang on, let's check... Okay, which obelisk... Uh, oh, obelisk, that's what I'm missing. One and two, that's Sweetwater... and Paradise Valley. Five and six... Kriegshire and Blackspire. Kriegspire and Blackshire. This one I had gotten three expired. Blackshire, I guess I haven't gotten 79, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so it's only those four. Is it worth getting the rest of the obelisks? It would give me an opportunity to place the final statuette in Sweetwater. I might do that. I might do that. For now. Fixed. Alright, for now...
Temple of Varn should be, or Tomb of Varn should be somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. It's this big pyramid looking structure. Let's see if enemies are right here. Gold dragon. Yeah, no, no thanks. Tomb of Varn. Oh, I have one. Doesn't look too safe around here. You have an extra door right here that you have to open before you go in. Now, you're not... I don't think I'm going to get far enough in this video to show just how huge this place is. But pretty soon in the dungeon, probably one of the first things you'll see in the next video, unless I choose to, to go... Go, uh, yeah, no, I, I think in the next video I'm gonna go uh, get the rest of the obelisks and place the final statuette. And then I might or might not do the Dragon Riders area. If it opens at 6, the training area, I can do that, get my levels, and then go there, and that might help. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but, um. Alright. Alright. So, we need to be careful. There's the first enemies. They leave the lamps behind. Or no, not lamps, they're little front lamps. They also make you afraid. See more enemies waiting to kill me right there. Right around the corner. That's why I don't want to move on. Alright. I think I'm safe charging them. So they do, they hit really hard. Of course they're not going to be as frustrating as the eyes were, but I'm going to have to come up with a better strategy to get through the entire dungeon of these things. And more enemies than just these, but yeah, um, definitely want to get my levels before I continue too much. Okay. With painstaking care, you are able to decipher the message of the hieroglyphs. Through the crossing of the void be a long and arduous... Oh, I, I already messed it up. Though the crossing of the void be a long and arduous journey, the land you find at the end will be sweet and unspoiled by ancestors or the enemy. Take heart that your children's children will live in a peaceful world free of war, free of famine, and free of fear. Remember your sacred duty to care for the ship on her long voyage, and ensure her safe arrival in the promised land. Tend well the Guardian and house it securely away from the ship, lest both be lost in a single misfortune. So that actually does have some meaning related to the story. Um, I want to say I'll explain it at the end, but honestly I'll probably forget. But, uh, if I remember, I'll, ex I'll explain it at the end. Although it'll probably make a good amount of sense just by virtue of seeing the ending. But, uh, so this area that I'm in right now, I barely even consider this to be part of the Tomb of Arn. I mean, technically it is, but... To me, this is more of... Yep, I remember them. I remember those two hiding right there in the corner. 
To me, this is more of, like, a preview of the dungeon. Not the dungeon itself. Hear the sentinels. Alright, come on, kill it. Run away. What? Did he go through the wall? Oh, he's under me. Oh, okay. Ah, there's one of them. Hopefully, you remember this character model from the. Uh, that one place. That I won't. Uh, that I won't name. That one's under me. There's a couple more. Uh, oh, the genies ran away. There's another defender. Oh! The ah. delay in the animation right, we got him. messed me up. I was trying to dodge the spell. Yes! Alright, I don't remember there being a little area up here, which means it was probably insignificant. Okay, this one's different. With painstaking care, you are able to decipher the message of the hieroglyphs intermixed with diagrams of devils. Remember our enemy, children, and never underestimate the danger they pose. Though you will never see one during your journey, you must be forever vigilant against invasion from the void once the voyage has ended. Mighty beyond words, the enemy is nonetheless vulnerable after a crossing, for their numbers are small and their defenses weak. Use the energy weapons carried on the ship to defeat them, and never ever engage the enemy with lesser weapons, or you will surely perish. That could kind of be considered a message to us, I suppose. Oh, whatever. Let's go take out whoever's up here. He was just waiting outside the room and he'd come in and hit me, but... Uh. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of green in this dungeon. And when I say green, I mean green on our lights. Just because the place is so big that when you clear out one room, there's a good chance you're not even close to any of the other rooms. There's a lot of enemies down there. Don't know if I want to go for it. Um, I'll try it, and then I'll end the video after that. If it doesn't work out, then I guess I'll go back to town and wait until the morning. I wish there was a way to check if they had any extra status conditions than what you can see on the surface, but uh... As long as their lights are all green, they shouldn't be asleep, meaning we should be fine. Alright. I'm gonna try to trigger as few as possible. I read the map wrong. Alright, um, so that's not how you trigger as few as possible. Gives music back at least. Actually, this is why I was saving my resistant to sleep ring. It's because the genies can put you to sleep. So. You know what? I think I just might be able to show how big this dungeon is in this video. If I can clear this room, then I'm then I'll be past the part that I mentioned is uh, sort of just like a preview.
Did I already place a Lloyd's Beacon in here? I didn't, and I don't want to forget that. So, let me go up here, where it's relatively safe. And I'll have him place a beacon, because it's important. Place it over... Hmm. Where am I the least likely to be going back to? I guess I don't have any unfinished business at all on Bootleg Bay, so... I can always walk back there from Castle Iron Fist. It'll take a few days, but... It's not too much of a hassle. So if I can clear out this room, I can have a nice little conclusion to the video. Just giving you a little preview of how big this dungeon is. It's still in the area that I consider to be just a preview of the dungeon, not the dungeon itself. Got a key. Got the key. Okay, he got the key. Good. Back door key. It's partially so you can't just rush your way through this dungeon. How many are there? Protection spells are going to be saving me a lot of misery in this dungeon. Alright, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, stop that. Um. Alright, just, just stay there, guys. Remove fear and cure disease and all these spells. Have a thing where at master level it cures it from the entire party. It should be a thing. the corner like that. Oh, what's this? Very nice. No, no it isn't. Oh. That's good. Yes. Aha. Not bad. Alright. Ah. No. no, I don't need that. Let's see. Put that there, put that there. There we go. That's beyond my skill. Fixed. Get that to her. And we're good. Alright, so now... Let's cast this again. Let's go back to the new Sorpa Bowl. And... I think it's closed. And, oh. Well... Let's remove fear then. And then Hello, take on a nappy. Enjoy your stay. 
6 a.m. Alright. Um, then let's put this on. Put this on. And finally, how's it going, Nicole? I'll beacon and kill the ones that left the room. No, don't fly out of the room again! Let's, let's try that again. Let's try going this way. Forget them then. Forget them. So, uh, I'll be selling my stuff and all that. Um, but first, Wednesday. Let's go. Um, let's get some more level at Castle Iron Fist and hope I have enough money. Hey, look well done. Well done. Not There's no well way I'm gonna have enough. It's gonna yeah, cost okay. you. Hang on. Uh, auto save. Let's let's start by selling some of this stuff. Looking for a weapon. So hopefully I don't have to wait until uh wait until the bank opens to be able to afford it. Uh, okay. Coming. Let's see, uh, let's see what sort of enchantment I can get on that bow. Not bad. 5 2 plus 8, 5 2 plus 6, 4 2 plus 7, 4 2 plus 7. Okay, I think the one she has on will be better, but let's see. 6, on the shoot. 16, 47. Uh, no, I'm not I'm leaving that one. Still a good bow though. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Thanks, Looking uh, for a weapon? This one. Coming. Hopefully I can get this now. Okay, good. Don't touch the merchandise. So. Come back. This is not going to be enough to level me up. Alright, we're waiting. Can I help you find anything? Thanks. There we go. I could have sold these two actually. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Alright, let's see if this is enough. I'm not sure. I I'm leaning towards a no. Hey, look in the train. Although she gets huge discounts. Well on her done. Train. Well not well done. Well not well done. Well not well done. It's gonna cost you more. No. I can get to about level 70. I can just go get the rest of that money from the bank though. No big deal. What can Let's I do for you? About say fifty thousand more. Then go back to Castle Iron Fist. How's it going, Marsha? Hey, look well done. Well, done. not well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Not today. All right. Alright, looking good. Um, 118 days. What? Did he have? Oh, that's right. I have something that improves his water magic spells. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to Creek Spire. I 
shouldn't not have any loot left. Fly, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, to the other way. I'm gonna go back, actually I'm gonna get the obelisk while I'm here. And then I'm going to go back to the whatever of the dragon riders. I'll be doing that in the next video. And then probably getting the rest of the obelisks. Let's go wizard out home. Where was this obelisk that I somehow didn't get? Okay, so... Seven, yeah, wait. Uh, yeah, four. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Four. Oh crap, I'm missing five and six, not... Mm. That means the one I miss... the ones I'm missing are... Paradise Valley, Sweet Water... Oh, I was missing the one in Dragon Sand! Okay, I, I know how I... I know how I messed that up in my mind. Alright, so Dragon Sand, Paradise Valley, Sweet Water, and... Black Shire. So I'll be doing this in the next video, and then getting the obelisks, and then going back to Varn. Varn will probably take more videos than uh, Alamos or Darkmoor did to clear. But who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll blaze through it. Probably not. No, 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 wait, hang on, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hang out in here, I'm going to place a beacon here, and then go back to town, because I will be selling a bunch of my stuff after I mess around with my inventory. So yeah, that's, that's it. And I have a lot of skill points. I want to figure out something to put these points into. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it respawned. I think the area, it's, uh, let's, let's see, yep, yep, the area is, is nice and fresh again. Let's go get whatever's in these barrels. Purple, blue, blue, blue. Alright, bye bye. Let's get this fly scroll. Saving my flash worlds. Alright. Um, wonder if there's anything else I can do. Mm. No, I don't think I really have anything else to do in uh, Sorpagol. Alright, that's all.